the seventh full month that he's been arrested in Ukraine. For those of you who don't know, Gonzalo Lira is an American novelist and a film director, man. But how he really became famous on the internet was under his internet persona called Coach Red Pill, where he used to put men on game, when he used to give men advice on dating, relationships, and life. Now, out of all of the dudes in that space, you know, in the manosphere and the men going their own way in the Red Pill space, uh, Coach Red Pill was one of the dudes that actually gave the most practical advice, you know, because I mean, at the end of the day, you know, he's an old dude, so he carries a lot of life experience, you know. Uh, a lot of his advice was extremely controversial, you know, but a lot of the times he used to hit the nail right on the head, right? But whatever, the point is, the reason I'm making this video today is, right, because uh, Coach Red Pill, right, like Andrew Tate, was screaming at the top of his lungs that the West is falling, the West is falling, the American Empire is coming to an end, that you need to leave America now, that you got to go and move to Eastern Europe, you know what I'm saying? Coach Red was like guys you gotta move to ukraine now come here now the women here are submissive they're gonna treat you right they're gonna respect you man you're not gonna have to deal with all the stuff that you gotta deal with over there in america and like a year later putin said knock knock <laughs> war and invaded ukraine yep andrew tate faced a similar issue when he left the west and went to romania ended up getting into a whole bunch of shit over there and when he got arrested he screamed corruption guys i'm gonna give you a word of advice man um, uh, the easiest place in the world to survive, the easiest place in the world to be a man is America. If this goes to shit, the whole world burns. And you people need to understand that, man. And this guy now got arrested in Ukraine because he thinks that he can go over there and just, uh, express his right of free speech. But guess what, homie? Just because you have an American mind doesn't necessarily mean that you're in the American country. In the USA, and he was over there mouthing off, talking against their government, exposing corruption, and talking a whole bunch of shit that here in America, yeah, it would have been just fine, no problem. But guess what? Over there in the Ukraine, yeah, they don't play like that overseas, man. You better watch your mouth, man. Especially if you got getting a lot of attention and you're getting a lot of views, they're gonna get rid of you. That's just how politics is in most of the world. You don't really have the freedoms to express yourself the way that you want. But whatever. The point is that I seen the, uh, his father uh, on Twitter talking uh, to Tucker Carlson uh, in regards to the situation. So let's see the video of him trying to escape Ukraine, the place where he was advising men to go to <laughs> and uh, getting arrested for the final time. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on what I think about the whole thing. I will definitely be sent to a prison labor camp where I will most certainly die. And so I decided that the smart thing was take my chances in terms of getting across the border. Right now, I'm maybe five kilometers away from the border with Hungary. Uh, over the last two days, I rode my bike just about 1,300 kilometers from Kharkov all the way here to the border. And my intention is to cross the border and get to Hungary. And in Hungary, I'm going to ask for political asylum. As corrupt as they claim America is, we don't really have those issues here. So either I will cross the border into Hungary in the next couple of hours, or I will be arrested again. And uh, God knows what will happen to me. He never made it. Today will mark... Now, this is the video of him getting arrested for the second time, and he's been locked up ever since. The seventh full month that he's been arrested in Ukraine. He has not gone into trial. He's awaiting trial. He was appointed a court attorney that doesn't speak English. No you're not in america and you take the same thing oh they got me like up over here man they don't give me speak english no f you're not in america my man like what is wrong with these dudes on the end they're thinking they could go to these countries and bring their american mind man, into their system and think that they're gonna thrive come on man he's an ukrainian attorney insofar as the u.s embassy they haven't done a thing <laughs> The irony behind this, man. I hope that guy comes out okay, man, at the end of the situation, dude. But the whole irony of dudes like Andrew Tate, Coach Rappo, and a bunch of other dudes on the internet advising men and screaming at the top of their lungs to leave this country. Guys, I'm an immigrant, man. 
I come from the third world, bro. Yeah, I don't want to leave America. Believe me when I tell you, you do not want to leave America. I mean, we live in a country where you can threaten the president of the United States of America. And the worst thing that happens to you is that you get a little knock on your door. He's like, hey, man, listen, uh, I seen you posted this on social media. Uh, you know, this is kind of like a threat to the president of the United States. Uh, did you mean this? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, guys, I didn't mean that at all. I was just joking, man. That's just, I'm just trolling. You sure? It's like, yeah, 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 I'm sure. You crazy, man? I'm not about that life, man. I would never do that. He's like, okay, now nah, we was just checking up on you. All right, man, have a nice day. They're going to put your little name on a little list. And that's it. That's all that happens to you here, man. But overseas, man, they will throw you in prison if you say the wrong things, man. Especially if you're questioning the government. And the biggest problem with this is that, you know, out here in America, for example, we only, uh, with the whole uh, Putin and Ukraine thing and the whole war, we only see what the United States government wants us to see. Like, you really got to go out there and really search the internet to try to find any opinion that's contrary to that. So this guy is an American citizen in Ukraine reporting the complete opposite that their government and our government are telling their citizens. And uh, if you think you're going to go over there and do that, and here in America, yeah, you might get away with it. You know what I'm saying? They might attack you on, this, on social media, nothing crazy. But over there, yeah, they don't like you guys the fuck up, man. And people, man, if you go to other countries, dude, and you get arrested, do not expect, <laughs> do not expect for somebody to be there to speak English to you, bro. <laughs> what is wrong with you? And don't complain about how inhumane the prisons are, man, because they're dirty, they're nasty, man. <laughs> you don't want to get arrested in the third world. People believe me when I tell you, man. <laughs> but anyways, guys, stay here in America, man. Don't go nowhere, bro. We get over here. Trust me, man. A lot of people risk their lives to come to this country, bro. And you guys are voluntarily going away because you think it's easy. It's not, bro. Shit ain't sweet overseas, man. <laughs>